This is Decepticon Command calling anyone viewing this video. This video is intended for adult collectors only. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone out there in YouTube land, this is Phoenix Draconis coming with you with another toy review video. Now this toy review is basically a blast from the past here about 20 years back. This is Fire Convoy, the Cybertron Commander from Transformers Car Robot, uh, which basically became Transformers Robots in Disguise once it hit the States. Uh, this is basically an awesome figure. When I first saw this, this was, God, like I said, 20 years ago, back in 2000, around there. I only saw like little uh, clips here and there via the internet, uh, images of Fire Convoy. Now, what you see here is the box that basically it contains in a lot of product shots you see an image in his vehicle mode which is a fire engine at the same time you also see him as super fire convoy which is the combined form a uh, lot of good uh, imagery on here uh, like I said this is the Dakaro Tomy version of this not the Hasbro that later came out uh, as you can tell, you know, there's some um, lettering on the side over here, the word Cybertron. Uh, let's see here. And of course, you have Transformers Car Robot, an image of Super Fire Convoy. I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. And as you can tell, I'm going to try and get that glare out of there. There we go. I know it's on its side, but you know rest assured you know you have uh, you know you know super fire convoy right here uh, an image shot which I'll probably show off later of you know of the whole Cybertron group which includes you know uh, fire convoy mock alert wild rider and speed breaker along with uh, Oh God! Um, basically, it's the third iteration of Fortress Maximus, which was—it's not—it's not God Maximus. Uh, I forgot the name, folks. Sorry. Then on the other side, you have the Death Strongers, which includes. Um, oh God! I forgot his name. <laughs> Basically, you have the the Death Stronger leader, you know, along with his minions and whatnot. Uh, is so. the box on its side? You see all four modes: the vehicle mode, the combined mode of uh, Super a Super Fire Convoy. You also see the smaller version of, of Fire Convoy, which is the front part of that uh, vehicle mode. Then you see his battle platform in the background. So, uh, now I remember having this along with God Magnus, which, uh, which combined together you have uh, Godfire Convoy. Uh, I don't have him right now, but yeah, when I got this, this was gifted to me by my editor. Uh, for the comics that I'm currently working on, which is Asteroid Pizza and Warplord. Uh, so, uh, like I said, this is a great looking figure. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show this off, take it out of the box, and that way you can see, to loosely quote Optobotamus, to see how cool this figure really is. Now, this is an awesome figure. 
Uh, for anyone that's ever had the original Takara version or the Hasbro release, you already know what he transforms into. Hence the name, Fire Convoy. Uh, he's got the same traditional look, you know, of Convoy, you know, in terms of the body mode. Uh, of course, there are some differences naturally due to the vehicle mode he transforms into. And, uh, you know, it's it's an awesome figure. I can't cannot I cannot complain about it. Uh, now, right now, I have him in his small mode along with his battle platform in the background. As you can tell, it is comprised of the rest of the vehicle here, which is naturally a fire engine. Uh, so you can see the uh, you know the the extending ladder along with the along with the water cannon. And of course, you know, the, the remaining, you know, leg, forearms, and uh, shoulder pad extensions along with his chest. So he's a great looking figure, I have to tell you. As a matter of fact, uh, as you can tell right off the bat, he's got some really good chrome detailing on his waist. Uh, he's got rubber tires. I'm going to try and focus. Focus! Damn it. <laughs> uh, it's got some like the brake pads, the inner workings, rubber tires. Uh, you know, and then of course this face. Damn it, man. That is that is an awesome looking head sculpt right there. The the chrome yellow eyes, I mean, jeez. There's not a lot I mean there's I can't gush enough about this, man. Um, now, in addition to what he's able to transform into and stuff, there were some audio and light gimmicks to this. However, after after just double checking the batteries and everything, I think the electronics finally went, for lack of a better term, belly up in this case. Um, so there's a feature on the back, this button right here that you press. And it only does the blue and red on one light bar here. Normally, there should have been some sort of some sort of audio. I think the last time I took this out was about maybe a year or so ago, and the audio was still working at that time. So I'm wondering, perhaps maybe something went loose. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find someone in my Transformers group that uh, that knows something about electronics that can look into it. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and take a closer look at him here. Like I say, he's got an amazing head sculpt here. His head is on a ball joint, so he can look left, he can look right, and uh, and he can look up and then down um, his his arms can go 360 he does have a type of swivel but it's at the elbow his el his arm can go 90 degrees in addition he does have some sort of articulation his wrist or I should say his hands on a ball joint so you do have the ability to put his hand in a different pose uh, it is just one piece it's not the fingers aren't individually articulated uh, one thing though because of the come on focus damn it because of this uh, you know because of this here uh, you can't really get a good stretch on there now because of this backpack uh, he does have a waist level but it does hit the backpack here uh, his leg can go up it's a tight as you can tell, you can go up. It's got a nice little ratchet. Come on, focus, damn it. And he's got a knee swivel. And he's got a knee bend at 90 degrees. Really? Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, yeah, I'm sorry, folks. I'm frustrated. A lot of going on in my life. Anyway, uh, he does have... So his feet are on a ball joint so you do have that range of motion to to do the ankle uh, tilt so it's like I said it's a good figure 
you know in this mode the only complaint I have is that the electronics no longer work so that's the uh, that's the drawback on that like I said if I'm able to get it fixed I'll go ahead and do an update review on it all right so let's go ahead and I'm going to move fire convoy out of the way <coughs> And I'm going to go ahead and show off. Well, as a matter of fact, give me a moment to adjust the camera and I'm going to show off his battle platform. Man. Well, I wouldn't say there he is. There it is, his battle platform. And it is an awesome sight. Uh, it's a creative way of. Yeah, it's a creative way of utilizing those extra pieces that uh, that make up, you know, fire convoys uh, vehicle mode in a more creative way. Kind of like how they did it with uh, with God Genrai, or I should say Super Genrai, where they used the cab and transformed that as a as a uh, battle platform as well. When uh, when uh, convo uh, I should say when Genrai was in his uh robot cab mode so uh so let's go ahead and because there is another form that all these pieces put together can you know be put off to the side so i'm gonna go ahead we're gonna go ahead and take this part out now everything on this is all attached by pegs and and uh ports here so like this i'm gonna pull these open i mean closed pull that wire cannon up like so and we're gonna go ahead and take that off now pull that off to the side there now we're gonna go ahead and take these pieces pull those off there we go and there's that port that i was talking about earlier and there's that peg right there now with this one these are put together by a pig and a port which is located right here so i'm going to go ahead and just pop that off and there we go got a shoulder piece here and now i'm going to pull this here like so point into the hand i'm going to go ahead and fold this or oh, better yet yeah So, like I mentioned earlier, we're going to turn the hand this way. This is going to be pointing to the hand. Oops, sorry. I got to pull this thumb down just a bit. And now we're going to go ahead and fold this over like so. This panel is going to snap in this way. This panel is going to this panel is going to snap in like so. So that takes care of that. Now, like the other one, I'll pop that one out and I'll do the same like with this one. So, pull that up, put that there. I'm gonna go ahead and point this cannon in, point this hand in like so. Lift that up. Oops, sorry, got it out of the camera. Ah, there we go. And pull this down. Now, like before. Snap these sides right there. Now, these are going to stay together because these are going to wind up making up the back of the vehicle mode. However, because these tires are down there, and again, these are rubber tires, I'm going to go ahead and. Alright, folks. One of the things I forgot to do is put these feet up. These little tabs right here at the corner. Or what's blocking that so make sure you do that otherwise you're gonna get as freaking frustrated as I am there we go now once those are up put the rest of those feet down and there you go now I don't know if you can see in the light yes on his tires it says fire convoy yay Okay, zoom back out. Alright, so now that that's done. <sighs> no, 
how the rest of it continues. So, gotta go ahead. I gotta go ahead and put this on top of that. But one thing I need to do is this little crotch panel is going to go underneath. There we go. And it snaps into place right here so it won't be hanging loose. So with these two ports here to go into these two pegs right here. So plop. Come on. There we go. So now one thing I need to do So these two pieces here, they're going to snap into these two ports right here. <clears throat> We're going to do the same with the other two. Now, these are going to go, I should say, ah, take my fat ass hand out of the way, this section is going to be pegged here on the sides but there's a slot here and there is this funky looking tab right here so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this piece goes right here and then just snap that on there you're going to do the same with the other side just like that snap that on like so all right okay so now there we go all right and there there is the back part of fire convoy now i'm gonna move this off to the side and bring fire convoy back here And bring fire convoy back over here. <laughs> oh damn. Anyway, um so what I'm going to do is gonna readjust the camera so I can go ahead and transform him. So stand by. Yes, okay, so one of the first things we're going to do is we're gonna take off his weapon. And that is a tight fit. So, you know, this is not going to go loose anytime soon. And these red wings are going to fold back. Now, we're going to go ahead and fold the arms. Oh, not fold the arms. We're going to go ahead and, like I was mentioning earlier, we're going to move these, these four arms, or the forearm shields, a little up. If I can get that going, what the hell? Oh, Jesus. Sorry, folks. I'm trying to keep. Come on, damn it. Oh, okay. Got folded in. God. And I'm gonna fold the arms like this. So I gotta go ahead, and there we go. So, one thing that needs to be done. Okay. You gotta turn the arms in like so fold it out there is a slider right here that goes right in here so make sure that goes in and there we go the arms are done now uh, go ahead we gotta move the arms back so those are gonna go there's a little peg let's see if we can try and focus on that peg there we go there's a pig right there and there is a port right there so that's going to slide right in there boom and the same thing happens right here boom I'm going to move these little 
red wings right there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pull the waist up like so, because what's going to happen is you're going to fold this out, just like that, and folks trying to keep everything in frame hold on folks <sighs> sorry my better half's got a whole stinking load of pillows and they're getting in the blasted way all right so okay so now we are gonna go ahead and move this foot in and that's going to go in like so. That's going to slide back in. We're going to do the same with the other one. So we're going to slide that there. We're going to put the foot in. And put that there. Now, there we're going to peg these two halves together. There's a peg right there. There's a port on the other side. Like so. Now, now we're gonna fold all this together. There's some pegs right here and here, here and here. And oh, well, actually, I can do that afterwards. So we're gonna fold this over. Now, one other thing, something I forgot to do. So, pull that over. Now, one thing there is. All right, so one thing that I kind of forgot and neglected, and let me put him over here for now so I can show you. So, on, focus. There is some um, slider slider bits right here, and those are going to go into the slider section right there on either side. So that is supposed to be for this wheel right here. So give me a moment. I'm going to slide that in on one side. I go ahead and come on, get in there. Now, let's slide this in. Come on, get in there. Sorry, folks, I'm fighting with this blessed thing. Oh, come on, damn it. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and get this all snapped together. So, we're going to go ahead and slide all this together. There we go. And, make sure all this is flushed. There we go. Now, what we're going to do next is come on focus why are you going dark blasted god anyway we're gonna fold these pieces over like so and so and we're gonna do the same over here like so and so and there he is now one final thing we're gonna come, go ahead and put all this together over here now i don't know if anyone's noticed it yet i'm going to show this off right now there are some focus there's some slider bits right here and here that go ugh, come here over here into these pieces so we're going to snap all this together Sorry folks, just 
damn it, Tim. Come on, focus. Jesus, man. Folks, there he is. <sighs> yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love this figure. It's great, but it's a pain in the ass to transform. And the way I'm feeling right now, uh, I don't even know if I should continue this review. But you know what? I've gone this far. Let me try and finish this off. So there he is in his fire engine mode. Now one thing that you do not see is the Autobot symbol as you did on the Hasbro release because let's face it, it says Cybertron on there, uh, I'm not sure what this says since it's in Japanese, but you know, you know, that's, like I said, it is... You know, it's a it's a good figure. You know, it's just it's got its quirks, like with any figure. It's, the transformations go easily. Sometimes they're a battle. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the camera once again to do his uh, his final, or at least his final mode as Super Fire Genrai. I'm sorry, Super Fire Convoy. <laughs> Ugh. All right, folks. So we're gonna go ahead and transform Fire Convoy into Super Fire Convoy. So I've already gone ahead and separated, you know, the smaller component from the base form. We're gonna go ahead and work. We're gonna go ahead and just separate the uh, the components into what's gonna be added on. So one of the first things we're gonna do. So we're going to go ahead and take this front piece off, like so. We'll do the same thing here. And come on, let go. There we go. So there's another piece right there. Now we're going to take this piece, this piece here, off of this base. Bop, like so. So hang on a sec. There we go. We're going to put that right there. Now we're going to go ahead and start putting things apart here. So before we do that, we're going to go ahead and move the feet. I'm going to go ahead and take a tool because right now I've been battling with this blasted thing all day. So we've got a flathead screwdriver. Come on, let go. I'm going to lift it up like so right here. Uh, let's not go any further. So give me a moment here and I'll be right back. All right, folks. So now, turn up the the brightness here. I'm gonna go ahead and put these wheels inside, like so. And then we're gonna put the rest of the feet out. Now, there's more to this than just that, because we gotta open up these two panels here, like that. And with my trusty tool, I'm gonna open up these shin guards. Now that once that's done, yeah, we just split those apart. Now uh, one of the good things is that there's some really tight joints on here or some some tight pegs, so that's always a good thing. 
Now the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is separate these two because one of them, one piece is for the forearms, the other one is for the shoulders. So I'm going to slide that off like we did just now. Take these panels, open them up like so, and like that. So turn that around. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. We're gonna do the same thing with this one here. Split that apart. Put that off to the side. Pull these panels apart like so. Pull this down. And then turn this hand around. So that takes care of those pieces. All right. Everything's already assembled. So we're gonna go ahead and start by splitting the legs apart oh hang on no we gotta go ahead and pull this pull these tabs down like so now we're gonna go ahead and pull this front and front boom we're gonna do the same on this side like so Alrighty. now we're gonna go ahead and pull this front section out like so and now we're going to go ahead and split it. Once we split that, we're going to go ahead and move these, his weapon there. Now we're going to go ahead and pull his chest all the way like so. Now we're going to pull his, his shins right there. We got to come back here. And open this up on both sides. Pull his feet out like so. Do the same thing. Come on, there you go. And then pull these back calves out like so. All right. So far, so good. So we got his calves there. Now we gotta go ahead and do this front portion here. Where for that. Gonna move his arms front like so. Boom, boom. And we're gonna go ahead and pull down his arms, which will reveal the hand. Now we're gonna do the same like this and reveal. And zoom up like so. So right now, normally this is where I would go ahead and crunch the chest back down to the waist, but because we are doing the super powered mode, we're not gonna do that. What we are going to do is we're gonna go ahead and start adding on the add-on bits. So underneath, you see there is a peg hole right there, and there is a port right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and snap that on. And on this shin guard, you got that peg, you got a port right there. So I'm going to snap that on, boom, that is on there. I'm going to do the same with the other one, like so. And there we go. We got his legs. Now, we're going to go ahead and put his hands. Now, on the back of this, there's a couple of peg holes. There's also a couple of pegs right here and here. So we're gonna snap that on there. And I'm gonna put that, snap that on. Boom. There we go. Not bad, not bad, okay. All that frustration from earlier seems to be paying off. So now, boop, click on that, click on that, there we go. Now, one thing I did forget to do, these arms and our further shoulder bits to go on there properly, they have to pull out, like so. So before we go ahead and continue, gotta go ahead and get this piece prepared. Now for that, gotta go ahead and 
Oops, sorry. So for those of you that did not see that, so we gotta go ahead and swivel this piece on this side. So once that's on there, I'm turn the ladder so that the ladder portion is up and we're gonna go ahead and swipe it down like so. Now these these weapon bits have to go up. One other thing this piece over here needs to go out. Alright so now we just need to go ahead and put this portion in front. Now, there are three peg holes, primary peg holes, here, here, and here. They go to these peg holes, here, here, and here. Oh, so, so for these three peg holes that you see. So now we're gonna go ahead and snap those puppies on there. If I can get it on there. Hold on, I need to turn this just a bit. Come on, get in there, thank you. Alright, now one other thing I forgot to mention. There. So here in his chest, you see slot holes here. A couple of divots right there. That's going to snap in there. And there we go. Now, just got to go ahead and turn this around like so. And the final pieces are these shoulder pads right there. So that's going to go. Now, one thing I forgot to mention. There is a very, very, very small peg right there and that goes into the peg hole focus focus that goes into the peg hole right there so give me a moment to put that on there there we go and before i forget this gun this gun can be placed right here on this peg hole I mean on this peg if you can see it oh for pity's sake there so I'm gonna go ahead and peg that in there we go All right. All right, so give me a moment. Get him in, in, in frame here, full body. And not bad looking. Uh, I mean, for the time, like I said, it's kind of reminiscent of uh, Super Jinrai when he uh, merged with his uh, with his trailer. Um, it was pretty awesome. Um, now, like I said, there are some drawbacks. It's a pain in the ass to <laughs> to put together. Uh, also, one of the more surprising drawbacks was that the light-up features and the sounds are not playing. I I'm very disappointed in that because I really wanted to show that off to you all. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to talk with a couple of guys from my Transformers group, see if anyone knows anything about electronics and see if they can figure out what's going on here. And if it does get fixed, great, I'll go ahead and do a follow-up on this. But um, all in all, this is, uh, like I said, this is a good throwback. Uh, when I originally had these back in early 2000, say maybe 2002, 2003, around there, 
uh, I was able to get the uh, the Takara Tomy version, this version, not the Hasbro one, and I had both Fire Convoy as well as God Magnus. Um, great, great setups. I I liked it. Uh, I really was sad that I had to go ahead and part with those originally. So if I can get this fixed, great. But right now. Um, you know, I wound up running into a hiccup in my life, so I'm now looking to, unfortunately, liquidate, you know, some of my collection again. Uh, this is gonna, you know, despite the uh, the electrical or the electronic uh, issue on this, it is a good figure. It is complete. I got the box, as you saw earlier. Uh, the instructions, everything that went along with it. So, if anyone's interested, shoot me an email and I'll tell you what the price is. Uh, so, um, you know, uh, like I said, this is a good figure. I cannot gush about it. I just wish the electronics were working on this a little bit more. Uh, but, um, there he is, folks. Super Fire Convoy. Now, if you have any thoughts concerns comments leave them in the comment section down below like and share this video subscribe to the channel ring the bell so you can be updated on when new videos are coming out uh, I if you wish to go ahead and contribute I am going to leave information about that again in the description down below uh, I'm also looking into you know creating a patreon account so i can at least get some funding so i can be able to continue providing content for you all so this is phoenix draconis now we'll catch you all on the flip side peace